This is the video that's going to end the water is wet debate once and for all. My answer? Water's not wet! And I'll tell you why. To say that something is wet means that the water on the surface of that something can be removed. You get caught outside in the rain. You say, oh, my hair got wet. Now I gotta get it redid. Oh, my shoes got wet. Now I gotta let them sit outside and dry. You don't say that the ocean gets wet. It's just water. Water is water. Fire, right? We know that it burns things, right? But it's not in and of itself burned, right? Water, it wets things, but it's not in and of itself wet, okay? The word wet is only supposed to be used when water gets on something. For example, if I were to splash water on this mirror right here, I'd say it's wet. But if it were somehow possible to splash water droplets onto water, where you could see the water droplets sitting on the water, you'd say, oh, that water is wet. You know, I'll give an example in a second, because, you know, I'm in a bathroom, you know, we got water in the toilet, got water in the sink, shower, <laughs> sink over there. But the term wet is an adjective that is only conditional, that's used to describe the surface of something that is typically dry. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the simple proof test. This counter is dry. I pour water on it. It becomes wet. Can it be dried? Absolutely. Therefore, it was wet, it is now dry. The water on the inside of the bottle, however, can it be dried? Absolutely the frick not! And in closing, the definition of wet reads covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Water cannot be covered or saturated with itself. Thank you.